What did you take on today's workout? Uh, it was a pretty tough workout. It was my last one, so I just wanted to finish up strong. Um, it was competitive, and it was good pace to it. I thought it was a good workout. Come from Texas Tech, you guys obviously went on quite a run there, all the way to national championship game. How was this last couple months? You kind of just rode that into these draft workouts. It's been kind of a crazy time for you. Yeah, that run we made in the national championship definitely got me and my teammates some good exposure. And playing on a big stage like that definitely helps. Um, you know, I'm very thankful for my teammates, my coaches, putting me in a great situation and uh, been able to get a bunch of NBA workouts and get in front of some great teams and some great coaches. It's been a great opportunity for me. How do you feel like your game's going to translate to the next level? I think my game translates great. You know, I think, uh, first of all, I'm a winner. You know, I just I do whatever it takes to win. You know, I think I'm crafty, I'm skilled, and um, I'm tough. And, you know, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to compete my, my butt off, I'm going to play hard, I'm going to make shots, and just make the guys around me better. You played in a lot of different situations. You played at Air Force, played at South Dakota, Texas Tech. Do you think sort of that adaptability is something teams can find, playing in so many different environments, is something teams could find appealing? Yeah, that's a great word. I would say, yeah, adaptability, um, definitely, because you go to the league and you got to adapt to a new coach, new teammates, new style of play, and, uh, you know, playing for three different coaches, three different schools, help me adapt to different coaches, different styles, um, different players, and then going to Texas Tech was a different level, you know, kind of like a level up. So now I got to level up again and adapt to it again, and I think having that experience definitely helps me. Tour just wrapped up Hornets draft workout. What was your take on how things went today for you? I think it's real good. Um, they got me matched up with a big, you know, and I think I matched up well. Um, you know, he showed his areas. I showed my areas. You know, I showed that I was able to move quick, um, move my feet. You know, didn't get a lot of wins, but you know, competed. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, just trying to get better. That's my mindset. So the big your matchup was against Goga. You guys both played in Europe this year. Was any kind of that help you at all? Kind of in terms of play styles and anything like that going up against him? Um, I think it did. Um, I kind of knew where he's coming from. You know, he's big, slow-footed. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna tag him. You know, he did the same thing. Tried to seal me in. Um, I tried to be quick, get around. Uh, we just competed. You know, I think we got better. Yeah. What is it about your game you feel like stands out the most? I feel like with me, uh, you know, just competitive. You know, just no matter what it is, if we lose, I'm still gonna fight. You know, we're gonna fight. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quick. You know, I can defend. Um, you know, and I can down, get down to the hole. Yeah. How much is your brother obviously playing with the Pistons, Thon? How much has he kind of helped you through this process? He just went through a couple of years. Um, he's helped me a lot. You know, you know, just watching him and. You know, like he moved teams and you know I'm just thinking like you know it's the same work no matter where you go you know um, you still got to put in the work and you know it's the same thing you know you got to continue to go where you want to go so the same it's been real good you've been on a, a path about as wide traveled as any maybe as any prospect growing up in South Sudan Australia Canada now in Europe is it kind of a relief or what are your thoughts now this is almost kind of finally coming to the finish line with the NBA draft just two days away for all the places you've been and played Man, I feel like I've been everywhere, so I feel like you know, with the you know, with the NBA, I could fit into any situation. Um, been been a lot, you know. I've seen the snow, you know. I've seen the hot weather, so you know, I feel like I can just fit right in, you know. So I can adjust. I think that's helped me a lot. Yeah. You mentioned your brother. Like, what has he taught you in terms of this process and being ready for these workouts? I guess. Um, he just said, just be yourself. Um, you already know how to play basketball, you know. So you know, he always said. Uh, you know, be the best you, you know, um, you know, don't go out there and be an actor, you know, so I just go out there, you know, be myself, you know, if I don't shoot it well, you know, I'm gonna keep working, you know, that's what it's all about, you know, keep getting better, you know, get ready for the summer league, um, you know, it's just, it's a long process, so just enjoy it, you know, that's what he's been telling me. Well, for people who haven't seen your game, how would you describe your game, like what kind of player are you, would you say? Uh, right now, I'll say, you know, I'm gonna come in and defend, you know, I love defending, um, you know, and competing just at both ends. Um, I like to get to the hole, you know, that's my game. Um, you know, shoot the mid-range, you know. I just shoot whatever they give me, uh, but I'm a defender first, you know, and I understand that. Wrapped up draft workout with the Hornets. What was your take on uh, how things went for you today? Uh, it was great. Um, very grateful that they gave me the opportunity to showcase my skills and everything. Um, you know, it's getting late into that process. A lot of guys are fatigued. Um, just shows how we can compete. We went out here, we battled. Uh, a lot of good talent out here. It was a lot of fun. So you're one of the top, I think, 20 scorers in the nation this year. You come from a small school, Eastern Kentucky. Do you kind of feel like you have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder going into these workouts? Uh, I mean, I feel like my whole life I've had a chip on my shoulder. Um, just being from Maine, from Maine and everything. Um, I 
mean, I, that's just how I approach everything with a chip on my shoulder. I uh, just got to come out here and prove myself. How do you feel like your game is going to translate to the next level? I think good. I mean, my, my ability, you know, to shoot the ball and space the floor, um, keep on working on my outside game and, and my inside game. So you had another Ohio Valley guy here. Did you guys know Chris, Chris at all? Oh, yeah. Or uh, yeah. did that kind of help with familiarity, make things a little bit more fun? Yeah, I mean, throughout this process, you know, you go up and battle against guys that, you know, could be on your team or that you play against in the same conference. Um, it's real fun to catch up and talk about games that we played against each other. Went today. Uh, I feel like it was a good day. You know, everybody competed, played hard. Uh, you know, just tried to show their talents to the front office that was here. Uh, you know, just hopefully one of the teams pick us. I'm sure you've done a number of these. How does this one compare to some of the other ones you've done? Uh, that's my last one, so you know it's hard. Uh, you know, fighting fatigue with the workouts that I did previously. But you know, I just pushed through, and uh, you know, I feel like I had a pretty good day. Could have did some, could have did some things better, but uh, overall, I feel like I did pretty good. You said the drafts two days away. I'm sure it's kind of a physical and mental relief now that all this work last two months and you're kind of right there at the finish line uh yeah but you know uh on draft day is when it starts uh it's not where it ends so you know whenever you get picked or if you don't get picked uh you know you got to work from that day forward so you know just hopefully my name gets called that day and uh you know i'll be grateful and i continue to work from now on coming from iowa state you did one year with the cyclones you guys were big 12 conference champions what is it your game that kind of sticks out where'd you have the most growth you feel like during your one year in college uh just you know playing with a, a really good group of guys you know coming from a high school like Simeon, you know always playing around good players uh preparing me to go to the next level at iowa state you know play with talented guys so uh just learning how to compete you know with, uh, on an every night basis you know against the best uh prepare me for the nba i feel like so you know i feel like i was ready to make that jump Today's workout. I thought it was really good. I mean, it's always fun uh, competing against some really good players. And uh, this is my last workout, so uh, it, it was good. Kind of approaching the finish line with the draft a couple days away, and then kind of you'll start figuring out where you're going to go. Does it kind of feel surreal that after these kind of last two or three months of workouts that you're, you're almost there? Oh, yeah, I know. It, it flies by. I mean, uh, I was just in Syracuse, and now I'm on to the next chapter. So I'm really excited, and, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You tested the waters a little bit last year at Syracuse and had to go back. Where did you grow the most during this, your uh, final year with the uh, up at Syracuse? Uh, I think I think decision making, being able to handle the ball a little bit more. I mean, uh, there was times our point guard was out due to injury and stuff like that. Um, and during that time, coach really uh, trusted me to handle the ball, bring the ball up, and make plays. So um, I think I grew in that aspect. How many different? You, you mentioned the travel. How many different teams did you work out for? Uh, this is my 12th workout. Wow. Yeah, so I've been around. I mean, I worked out for a lot of different teams, a lot of different teams last year as well. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely a grind, but, I mean, Syracuse prepared me for taking care of my body and, and uh, just the traveling aspect. So I thought, I thought it went fine. Welcome to Charlotte. What was your take on uh, today's workout with the Hornets? You know, it was pretty fast paced, you know, a lot of competition and, you know, we just competed. So it was good. Playing out on the West Coast, for those that don't know your game, what is it about you that kind of sticks out? You know, I think there's a lot more to my game than what people have really seen. I think um, I have a great ball handling ability, you know, um, great, you know, great shot maker, um, just get great distributor, you know. Um, I think I do everything and I'm you know, I try to, you know, play hard, really hard on defense. So I try to, you know, have an all-around game. Kind of led you to make the decision to leave Arizona after a couple of years. Was it kind of you just felt you were ready for the next level, or you know, kind of the skills you just referenced? Yeah, definitely. I think I was ready for a next level. I think my game translates better to, you know, the NBA, the, um, you know, the league. So I think, you know, this is going to give me a better chance, you know, to showcase my talent. High school, you played, correct me if I'm wrong, you played with Mo Bamba in high school and Cam Reddish. Mm -hmm. have you, Cam obviously going through this process right now. Have you guys talked at all about what it's been like? And have you talked to Mo about what he went through last year and kind of evaluation and, you know, meeting with different teams and such? I mean, we talk all the time, but we don't really talk about this process. You know, it's very stressful um, for all of us. And, you know, I, I just try to keep to myself and, you know, keep to my family. You know what I mean? So um, we talk all the time, but just not about this process. Today's draft workout with the Hornets. Um, it was great. It's a great experience. Um, this is my first actual pre-draft workout. And I was just grateful for the opportunity. 
You come from a little bit of a small school in Austin P, playing the Ohio Valley. Good competition there. What is it about your game that kind of sticks out for those that don't know? Um, I can really shoot from anywhere on the court, and uh, I really get after it on defense. We were just talking to Nick. You guys went against each other in the Ohio Valley. That kind of helped a little bit with the familiarity going against each other. Or said so you guys were talking kind of about games you used to play. Um, yeah, before this, we, uh, we was just talking about old games and stuff. And then uh, he's had a couple of workouts, so he gave me a couple of tips and stuff and what to expect. Where do you kind of see your game kind of shining the most at the next level? What's going to kind of be your, your sticking point? Um, what I've been working on is uh, handling the ball more because in college I played like. Three, four, three and four, and uh, next level I can play two, three, and four. So uh, more uh, handling the ball and shooting. Lugans, welcome to Charlotte. We just wrapped up draft workout with the Hornets. What you think? Uh, how did you think things went today? That went pretty good. I love three on three, full court, a lot of one on one, um, uh, a lot of shots. So you went to the NBA Combine, sounded like you did pretty well there. I'm sure this last two months has been kind of just crazy for you. What is it kind of feeling like you're going to get some some clarity about where you're going to go in uh, in just a couple days? I mean, uh, um, I feel like I, I've done a pretty good job this past few weeks. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm in a good position right now to be uh, to get drafted uh, tomorrow uh, in, in a few days. So I'm going to just listen to my agent and stuff. Like right now, I probably think my range is from like 20 to 30. So I'm going I'm to I'm uh, stick to it and just be ready for the draft. Kind of thought about what that moment's going to be like? Uh, I know it's going to be uh, crazy. I mean, for me growing up in Montreal, Canada, and being in this position right now, it's, it's unbelievable. Do you take kind of the time to reflect about your, kind of your journey going from Montreal all the way out to Arizona State? I mean, it seems like things have gotten, you've moved around a little bit and played basketball to different locations. Have you kind of thought about the journey as you're kind of about to make this next jump? Yeah, I thought about it, but like I, I already knew from the beginning it was going to be a grind. So uh, the fact that I've been to a lot of places, I always kept working hard and, and, uh, and believing in me. And then now I'm in this position for a reason. Lastly, where do you see you kind of sticking at the next level? What's going to be your calling card for the team that drafts you? Oh, I mean, they're going to, let, they're going to get a lot out of me. Um, a lot of intensity on defense and offensively, too. Um, I'm going to make open shot and then try to get to the rim and get my teammates involved. Welcome to Charlotte. I just wrapped up draft workout with the Hornets. What did you? Uh, how did this one compare to the last few you've done? First of all, thank you, all of you. And I mean, it was a great workout. Really, one of the best. Uh, I mean, it was really tough. And I mean, great people out here. The facility is amazing. And I mean, just everything was on a high level. And just it was a really good uh, experience for me. Those that don't know what your game is after overplaying in Europe, what kind of stands out about you and how you play basketball? Uh, I mean, I bring a lot of energy on the court, positive energy. Uh, I can do most of the stuff on the court in defense, in offense, uh, to do all around, make plays, uh, make right decisions, to be able to play defense, uh, to switch on uh, guards, uh, to be able to protect the rim. I shoot the ball pretty well. You had a really impressive season over in Serbian League, winning a bunch of awards. Your team did very well. Did that kind of influence your decision that now is the time, the time to jump to the NBA? I mean, it, it, we we had the decision at the beginning of the year that I was going to get to the draft. But I mean, uh, just a lot of hard work I put in this game. And uh, this year, I improved a lot, I think. And we, uh, as a team, did well, which really helped me to be on the, uh, you know, to be able to get to the draft and have a chance over there. Kobe, your, your shooting range, I mean, it was really obvious out there. I know you shot 40% this season, but just watching you, you just don't typically think of people your size as having that kind of range. Have you always had that? Is it anything about the way that you were coached growing up? I mean, yeah, my coaches in Georgia also helped me a lot because, you know, they taught me how to shoot a ball. Uh, but after that, I just put a lot of work in the, to my shot. I changed my shot uh, off season. I worked a lot on that. Uh, I think it just paid off, hard work paid off. But I always had this, uh, I can say touch from the outside the arc. Uh, yeah, just a lot of hard work. Um, when the Gasol brothers were coming up, I know they both said that one of the, you know, when people would ask them, oh, you know, the way you pass, the way you play outside the lane, that sort of stuff, they both brought up the notion that the way that they were coached in Europe, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of dramatic differentiation between the way, you know, guards and big men were taught to play. You know, you said, you know, we were not like, you know, segmented off only to do big man things. Was that kind of your experience growing up as well? Uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, almost the same because my coaches always pushed me to play from the outside to do 
all kind of stuff on the court, not only big man stuff or the, not only do stuff in the paint. So also, uh, as I said, I worked a lot on that. And my coach in Serbia, Dejan Milojevic, also taught me a lot to play from outside to be able to play free and uh, do most of the stuff on the court. And yeah, they helped me a lot. What did you think of today's workout here with the Charlotte Hornets? Um, it was a great workout. Uh, had some great guys in there, and we just was competing, so uh, it was fun. Is there anything in particular you feel like you were trying to showcase well or felt like, you know, kind of, you know, did well today against, in front of these uh, executives of the Hornets? Um, I just was trying to just play my game and just, you know, compete and just uh, – and just play. I wasn't just particularly uh, focusing on one thing. I just was going, you know, doing what got me here and just playing, playing my game and just, you know, just trying to open some eyes. How does this workout compare to some of the other ones you've done? Um, this was a good workout. This was uh, kind of. I feel like this was a kind of a tough one, but it was great because uh, we got a chance to, you know, get up and down. So, you know, uh, this workout tested, uh, you know, if he was in shape and things like that. But it was, it was great uh, overall workout and. You know, this is my last one, and I feel like my last one was a, was a good one, and I kind of just ended out uh, on a good note. Does it kind of feel real, you know, kind of surreal now? The draft's a couple days away, and kind of see how things are going to play out. You're almost kind of at the finish line. Yeah, no doubt. It's been a grind, uh, for real. Like, I've been hearing that from a lot of guys that's older than me and, uh, you know, been through the process, and they were saying it was a grind. So, you know, uh, it, it really has been a grind, and, you know, we were just waiting on draft night, uh, whatever happens that night, and, uh, you know, just – you know, like one of the coaches uh, told us out there, you know, it's, it's what you do after the draft. Don't get don't get your head so hung up on, on just draft night. It's what you do. It's afterwards. Draft workout with the Hornets. What did you think on how things went for you today? Uh, I think it went well. You know, I think I showed versatility on defense. I think I showed how to be able to play in space with the ball in my hands and the ball out of my hands. Uh, just talking to my teammates, you know, I, I think that's the key component when playing defense here. You know, these are guys you've never played with, and you have to be able to talk and make adjustments, and I think that's what I'm best at. What did you feel like you were pleased with most today in terms of how your game kind of is going to translate to the next level? Um, just making plays out of the mid post, being able to catch the ball in the mid post and see cutters or even just fake passes that get to the rim, things like that. Um, I think I just did uh, well overall in that aspect. And also just on the defensive end, being able to switch and talk to my teammates and help on breakdowns on their end. Excited there's going to be kind of some finality to this whole process the last few months and just kind of get an answer of where you're going to be? Uh, definitely. You know, it's it's been it's been a journey, that's for sure. I'm just getting ready to go and figure out what's going on and what's going to happen on Thursday. But I'm excited it's finally in. I did plan at a school like Indiana, which takes basketball very, very seriously. Didn't kind of prep you to go to the next level. Uh, it prepped me well, just being able to play in front of all the fans. You know, playing, you know, top tier athletes every single game. Um, I think it just really prepared me for what's com to come. And then also just being undersized at the four and five, it's prepared me to be able to take on and play a lot bigger than I appear.